Angie and Andrew with Rags, Tags, and Confections, and we are here with you this today um, with another little craft fair um, project. Um, again, nothing new. We just kind of adapted the um, measurements to the Ghirardelli, um, the two-pack. So, I, I kind of have some of this um, already done ahead, so you guys don't have to sit and watch me trying to fumble um, with being down half a hand. So, um, I have one done, and this is kind of more of a feminine version here, and they're just the slider treats. So I'm just going to give you, um, my measurements for this, and, um, how I put it together, and we're going to go for a more, uh, masculine version on this one. So, without further ado, let's take it to this. As soon as I find somewhere to put this one in. Okay. So, before I get into the measurements I have, you can adapt this to any kind of bar that you may have. Um, basically, all you need is your width of your pro your piece. Um, double that. You need your thickness, and you're going to double that, and you need your length. That's pretty much it. So you can you can adapt this to fit um, whatever bar you may have. So I know, um, uh, like um, Miss Irene had said um, last week, you know they don't have the Ghirardelli over in Ireland, so um, you just gotta make do with what you have. And so that's what we're gonna do here. So for this particular piece. Um, you're going to need a piece of cardstock. This is just a 65 pound cardstock. Any heavier than that, and it gets to be too, too bulky. So, this one is cut at 4 and 3 quarters by 5 inches. So, now on our 4 and 3 quarter side, we're going to score at 1 quarter, 2 and 1 quarter, 2 and 1 half. and four and one half. Then we're going to rotate that 180 degrees and we're going to score one more time at one quarter of an inch. So we're done with that. Now we need to burnish these which is going to be interesting. quarter inch lines are not the easiest thing to try to fold and burnish. Now, you can choose to cut these little corners off, the little tiny squares down here, or you can make them as flaps to tuck in. I'm going to go ahead and cut them off for this one. So we don't I really didn't notice a difference if I left them on and folded them in as flaps or just cut them off, so we're just going to get rid of them. At least take some of the bulk out anyway, the bottom. Okay, now this middle here, let's get some light here. You have another little square here in the middle, this quarter inch square. We're just going to cut up each side of those, on each one of those score lines to make a little tab there. That tab we do need to keep. So we're just going to cut up that side and cut up that side. And I'm just cutting right up the middle of the score line there. Okay. So then our, I want to float that little tiny flap in. I like to keep it there because it keeps this end covered up um, a little bit. And we're just going to fold that around. We're going to glue that down. 
the bottom and we're going to glue this side down as well and then that'll give us our little flat box so somehow in case anybody's wonder um, somehow or another I dislocated my finger trying to pick up my big Yeti last night I have no idea how in the heck I did it I pulled my finger back and it's all sorts of wonky like um okay so pulled it back into place and buddy taped it and just letting the swelling go down in it now. I can't afford an emergency room bill just to go have my finger pop back into place and have them buddy tape it. So I can do that myself at home. Okay. So we're going to glue this down. you can choose to use uh, tape on this. I'm not good with tape as I've told you guys before. Um, I just I, it takes me so long to try to line something up straight and especially right now with not having all my fingers to do so. I just shove the well, as you see I just shove the bone folder in there and kind of help coerce it to stick. Now, I don't know why that just don't want to stick down there. Probably because my glue started to set up on me. In we go. Tiny little flap there that doesn't want to cooperate yet. So I'm wondering, I used washi tape on this piece uh, to give the cardstock a little something. And I didn't think about that while oh, Andrew was still awake that he could reach something for me. So. I think for right now I'm going to forego the washi on this one and let's figure out what stickers we want here. So these, okay, I pulled out two of them. These are from a while ago, clearance, Michael's clearance. And then these are Michael's as well. Little 3D beer bottles. But before we do that, we need to make a hole. Do it now while it's easier. This is one of those McGill um, paper punches. This should still be set to the right depth because I don't think I've used it since. So. Just to be sure. Yeah. I'm just going to eyeball this. And it has a, <coughs> a depth piece on the side, just like your crocodiles do.
think I want that ribbon. This is a little bit bright, but... Okay, so for ribbon, we're going to need a piece that's big enough to wrap around our chocolate or whatever your bar is going to be. Pull you guys back out here since... Okay. So we need a piece. This isn't the way it's going to shoving it in here now to get a guess. Because I need enough to go around, but I also need enough to tie a knot, so. Alright. So let's... Hmm. I think I want to dull this down just a little bit. Smush a little vintage photo on there and kind of stain up our ribbon a little bit. So it's not so bright yellow. Not for a guy's card. Guy's gift. a little grungier. So there's my hand. Clean that up. Okay, so now we need this. We need our chocolate. Gonna feed our ribbon through our hole here. Kind of roughly get it centered up. Okay. And we have our as you see, our ribbon's going across the bottom here. In the middle, that's where we're gonna slide our treat down in. And then this part will tie. And I'm not doing anything fancy here, just a knot. Don't get interesting. You gotta find a smaller layer. So now, 
We are ready for our decoration. I'm gonna mug a beer. Actually, I like that side better. We do a mug of beer and put a bottle beside it because we need to refill our mug. Yeah, we definitely need some tape or something there to break that up. Um, and through my little tiny stamps here. Or do I just want to go with a special friend? Yeah, let's do that. same little die that we used before um, with the other box but again if you don't have a die um, just take one of your just take a small square of paper or rectangle whatever will work for your stamp you're using and just dock your corners off and punch a hole and you have your little tag so this up here to run through the machine. Give that a second. Oh boy, one of these ones I can't find the end on. And one that doesn't want to feed from the middle. Lovely. Alright, let's take a guess. There we go. I don't know how this is going to go to tie up, but we're going to find out. Probably not very well. Or not a knot, but a bow. A 
found that one a little better than I expected. Can't quite pull the knot or the bow tight, but let's put some glue on the back of this. Maybe I will. There we go. All right. So there we go. There's our little treat holder. I better turn the treat around now since I flipped the box over. And here's the one I made previously. So there you go guys. Hopefully that's something that you can adapt to um, whatever need that, that you may have. And I'll deal with this bow here when I get another finger. So take care guys and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.